Hello mga studs! Meron tayo ditong 10 items for multiple choice na reviewer on petty cash fund. Wala tayong computation dito, lahat ito ay theoretical na topic. Umpisahan natin sa question number 1. The question is, Petty cash fund is letter A, separately classified as current asset. Letter B, money kept on hand for making minor disbursements of coin and currency rather than by writing checks. Letter C, set aside for the payment of payroll. Or letter D, restricted cash. So alin dito ang tamang answer na magre-represent ng petty cash fund? Uh, yung letter A, separately classified as current asset, isinasama po natin ang petty cash fund under the line item of cash and cash equivalent. O letter B, money kept on hand for making minor disbursements. O yan po ang purpose ng petty cash fund. So the answer is letter B. It is not set aside for the payment of payroll because this is only used for minor disbursements, mga petty items. Kaya nga siya tinawag na petty cash fund. So, hindi mo na kailangang mag-issue ng check kasi kung bibili ka ng tubig for office use or kung kailangan ng messenger ninyo ng pamasahe, o bibigyan mo na lang siya ng coins or currency ano, para doon sa purpose na yon. It is not restricted cash. So, the answer for question number 1 is letter B. Now, for question number 2, The petty cash fund account under the impressed fund system is debited, letter A, only when the fund is created, or letter B, when the fund is created and every time it is replenished, letter C, when the fund is created and when the size of the fund is increased, or letter D, when the fund is created and when the size of the fund is decreased. So ano dito ang tamang sagot? Observe nyo ano na yung letter A available sa B, C, and D. Pero sa letter A kasi only when the fund is created. So, yun nga lang ba ang sagot? Letter A lang ba? Because if you know the topic on petty cash fund and using the impressed fund system, o meron pa tayong ibang transaction kung saan nagde-debit tayo ng petty cash fund. Oh, it is not only for setup, so the answer for letter A is not correct. Pero hanapin natin sa B, C, and D. When the fund is created and every time it is replenished, o oh, ano ang journal entry mo upon replenishment? Debit ka sa various expenses and credit ka ng cash and bank. So hindi yan yung tamang sagot. O, oh, when the size of the fund is increased for letter C, pag nag-increase ang petty cash fund, let's say from 3,000 naging 5,000, oh, you will debit petty cash fund and credit cash and bank for 2,000. So the answer here is letter C. Ang letter D, kabaliktara ng journal entry ng letter C. Debit ka ng cash and bank, credit ka ng petty cash fund kasi binabawasan natin yung fund size. Okay, for number 2, letter C. Proceed tayo sa question number 3. The internal control feature that is specific to petty cash is what? Separation of duties for letter A. Assignment of responsibilities for letter B. Proper authorization for letter C. Or impressed system for letter D. O ano daw yung internal control feature na specific to petty cash? The answer here is letter D, the impressed system, or so yung impressed fund system. Oh, yung separation of duties, assignment of responsibilities, and proper authorization, makikita rin nyo yan sa ibang mga accounts or ibang mga processes. Okay? Oh, letter D ang sagot for question number 3. Now, proceed tayo sa question number 4. What is the major purpose of an impressed petty cash fund? O ano nga ba ito? Letter A, to effectively plan cash inflows and outflows. 
Letter B, to ease the payment of cash to vendors. Letter C, to determine the honesty of the petty cashier. Or letter D, to effectively control cash disbursements. O, ang sagot natin dyan ay letter D, to effectively control cash disbursements. Yan naman kasi ang pinaka-objective natin for using the impressed petty cash fund. Remember that that is one of your internal control feature, ano? Not for letter A, not for letter B, or for letter C. The best answer is letter D. Now, proceed tayo for question number 5. What happens when a petty cash is in use? Letter A, expenses paid with the petty cash are recorded when the fund is replenished. Letter B, most small amounts are paid from cash receipts before they are deposited. Letter C. Petty cash is debited when the fund is replenished. Or letter D. Petty cash is credited when the fund is replenished. So, ano ang nangyayari raw kapag ang petty cash ay ginagamit? O, etong letter C and letter D, mali na ito, ano? Kasi upon replenishment, walang debit or credit sa petty cash fund. So, ang pagpipilian mo na lang ay letter A or letter B. O, for letter A, when we replenish your fund, we debit expenses and we credit cash and bank. So, your answer here is letter A. O, yung letter B mali yan kasi ang sinasabi ng letter B, Pag may mga small value items na kailangang bayaran, pwede mong kunin sa cash receipts. O ang sinasabi ng impressed system, ang mga deposits kailangang intakyan at deposited. So hindi mo pwedeng kunin dyan ang mga small value items. So that is not the correct answer. So for question number 5, the answer is letter A. Proceed tayo sa question number 6. When a petty cash fund is used, which of the following is true? Alin dito ang tama pag ginamit ang petty cash fund? Letter A. The balance of the petty cash fund should be reported in the statement of financial position as a long-term investment. Letter B. The petty cashier's summary of petty cash payments serves as a journal entry that is posted to the appropriate general ledger account. Letter C. The reimbursement of the petty cash fund should be credited to the cash account. Or letter D. Entries that include a credit to the cash account should be recorded at the time the payments from the petty cash fund are made. So alin dito ang tamang sagot? You have to Analyze it carefully. For letter A, o oh, hindi yan ang tamang sagot kasi itatag daw ito as a long-term investment. Oh, masyadong malayo ano? Petty cash fund is a current asset under your cash and cash equivalent. So, hindi siya tama. Oh, petty cash here, summary of petty cash payment serves as a journal entry that is posted to the appropriate general ledger account. O, ang process natin under an impressed fund system, magre-record lang tayo kapag replenishment na. So, iniipon muna natin ito, ano? Saka natin ito i-record as debit to your various expense accounts and credit to cash and bank. Although, itong mga petty cash payments na ito, ginagamit natin ito as reference sa anong account natin ito ipapasok. Pero that is not really the answer. Ang tamang sagot dito ay letter C. The reimbursement of the petty cash fund should be credited to the cash account. O ito yung sinabi ko dito sa letter B. Na kapag replenishment or reimbursements, kinikredit natin ito sa cash account kasi dinidebit natin ang various expenses. O bakit mali yung letter D? Ang sinasabi kasi dito sa letter D, pag merong binayaran, saka tayo magkikredit sa cash Wait lang, mag-replenish muna yung petty cashier bago ito i-recognize, bago ito i-journalize at i-credit ang cash account. Hindi every payments, ano? hindi every transactions. Kapag umabot na doon sa level na kailangan ng i-replenish ang petty cash fund, saka tayo nag-record. 
So the answer here is letter C for question number 6. Now, proceed tayo sa question number 7. In reimbursing the petty cash fund, which of the following is true? Alin dito ang tama? Cash is debited. Petty cash is debited. Petty cash is credited. Expense accounts are debited. Or remember, yung question is reimbursement or replenishment ng petty cash fund. Debit, various expenses, credit to cash. Letter A is wrong because cash is debited. Letter B and letter C, parehas yan mali kasi walang pakialam ang petty cash fund. So, ang tamang sagot natin dito ay letter D. Okay? Proceed tayo sa question number 8. A cash over and short account. Letter A is not generally accepted. Letter B is debited when the petty cash fund proves out over. Letter C is debited when the petty cash fund proves out short. Or letter D is a contra account to cash. Okay, or remember that cash over and short ay pinagsamang account ano, for cash overage or cash shortages. Pag sumobra ang cash mo, actual cash versus your cash fund, cash overage yan. Pag kinulang yan versus your cash fund na dapat makikita mo na nandyan intact, cash shortage yan. So, ibig sabihin, pwede mong gamitin yan as a debit or as a credit. Oh, for letter D, that is not the answer kasi hindi lang yan contra account. Pwede yan maging adjunct account. It is not generally accepted. Oh, ginagamit po natin ang cash over and short. Letter B and letter C ang matitira. Debited daw when the petty cash fund ay over or debited when the petty cash fund is short. Isipin nyo na lang, na kapag dinidebit natin itong account na ito, meron tayong expenses. At kapag kinikredit natin ito, meron tayong income. So, pag expenses, di ba, ang pwede mong maisip dyan is maglalabas ka ng economic resources, eventually pera. Pag income naman, merong pumasok na economic resources and eventually may papasok ng pera. O kapag dinebit natin itong cash over and short, it's as if tinapos ka ng pera, may kulang na pera versus your cash fund. O, letter C ang tamang sagot dito. Okay? So, the answer is letter C for question number 8. Now, proceed tayo sa question number 9. Which of the following statements in relation to accounting for petty cash fund is false? Alin dito ang hindi tama? Letter A. Each disbursement from petty cash fund should be supported by a petty cash voucher. Letter B. The creation of a petty cash fund requires a journal entry to reflect the transfer of fund out of the general cash account. Letter C. At any time, the sum of the cash in the petty cash fund and the total of petty cash vouchers should equal the amount for which the impressed petty cash fund was established. Or letter D, with the establishment of an impressed fund or impressed petty cash fund, the one person is given the authority and responsibility for issuing checks to cover minor disbursements. Ang tanong dito, alin dito ang false? Letter A ba? Ang disbursement from petty cash fund should be supported by a petty cash voucher. But that is correct. Kailangan mo ng voucher. No? Magkakaiba yan yung template sa kada company. Depende kung paano nila sinet up yung voucher na yan. Pero, pag maglalabas ka ng pera coming from the petty cash fund, dapat merong reference. May supporting. Ano? So, petty cash voucher yan. Letter B. Yung creation daw ng petty cash fund ay nagre-require ng journal entry to reflect the transfer of fund palabas sa yung general cash account. And that is also correct because we debit the petty cash fund and we credit the cash in bank. It is a cash-to-cash -cash account movement. For letter C, at any time daw, dapat ang sum ng cash in the petty cash fund mo kung magkano yung natitira na actual cash mapa coins man yan or paper currency, 
ipa-plus daw natin sa total petty cash vouchers, eto yung mga na-disperse mo na. Dapat equal yan palagi. Doon sa total na naka-establish na petty cash fund. O eto ay tama. Ano? The answer for number 9 is letter D. What makes it wrong? Because ang sinasabi dito, o for issuing checks to cover minor disbursements. O yes, merong isang person na inassign para maghawak ng petty cash fund and we call it the petty cash custodian or the petty cashier. Pero yung issuance ng check ay para ma-transfer sa kanyang account yung pera na yon at maipain cash eventually para meron tayong petty cash fund na on hand. Pero yung payment ng minor disbursements is not through checks but coming from the petty cash fund. So that makes the answer for letter B false or wrong. Okay? Question number 10 tayo. Proceed tayo sa question. Alin daw dito ang tama naman in relation to your cash short or over na account? Letter A. It would be impossible to have cash shortage or overage if employees were paid in cash rather than by check. Letter B. The entry to account for daily cash sales for which a small amount of cash shortage existed would include a debit to cash short or over account. O sa letter C naman, if the cash short or over account has a debit balance at the end of the period, it must be debited to an expense account. Or letter D, a credit balance in a cash short or over account should be considered a liability because the short change customer will demand return of this amount. Ano dito ang tamang sagot? O, dito, ano, analyze ninyo mabuti kasi mahaba na naman yung question. Minsan, ang hirap i-analyze kapag ang haba-haba ng question. Parang nakakatamad basahin. O, ang sagot dito, ibibigay ko muna, it should be letter B. O, kasi, pag meron kang cash shortage, kailangan i-debit mo yung difference dyan para balance pa rin ang iyong petty cash fund. Pag chinek mo ang remaining balance plus your petty cash vouchers o plus your debit sa cash shortage, o equal pa rin yan doon sa naka-establish na petty cash fund. So the answer for question number 10 is letter B. O letter A is not really correct kahit na paid in cash yan, posible pa rin na magkaroon ng cash shortage or overage. O, for letter C, hindi natin dinidebit sa expense account etong ating cash short or over account. O, sa letter D naman, hindi natin ito kinukonsider as a liability kapag may credit balance ang iyong cash short or over account. Okay, so the answer, the most Proper, the tamang sagot for question number 10 is letter B. Alright, so hanggang dyan muna tayo sa ating reviewer for Petty Cash Fund. I hope you learned something from it and you can use it sa yung mga examinations. So, good luck and I'll see you around. Bye-bye!